everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So for today, we're working on a 2014 Ford F-150. This thing's really special because it's a redneck edition. So yeah, that's one of a kind. I've never actually seen that kind of logo before. I don't know when they started making those in production, but you know, here it is, here we go. We've seen it in Tennessee Copart Yard and we had to have it. The damage didn't look too bad and it went for a great price. We actually picked it up for $9,500, which I don't think is that bad because the damage didn't seem, you know, Horrible, horrible. You can actually drive this thing. So we drove it off the trailer. That was kind of interesting. I'm surprised how that worked off. But hey, pretty sweet. But also, let's just, also, it's an FX4. FX4, 4x4, 50 V8. I mean, that's what everybody wants an F-150 to have that V8 in there and be in a four-wheel drive in a four-door truck. That's sweet. Pretty, you know, it's what is definitely uh, desirable here in the South. Everybody wants one of those. But let's go around and look at the good and check out the bad and see what we bought. But before we check out the truck, man, it's just so hot out here and the boat's right there just tempting me. You think of what I'm thinking? Yeah. Woohoo! Got big off! Lost it again. Yeah, bring it in. Got me a big one. Woohoo! Yeah, nice. Got one. Woo-wee, I got me one of them rare white bugfish, yeah. Let's catch and release and see what else we get. Woo-wee, all right, I always wanted me a legendary big mouth Mustang, yeah, Woo-wee, what a hard day of fishing at the shop. Man, that's rough. Can't, I can't believe I got that big mouth Mustang, but lost some big ones I know for sure out there, but you know what's easier than fishing at the shop? Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is an awesome game for iPhones and Androids. It's honestly a lot easier. You can stay inside and still go fishing. They really got the most realistic graphics I've seen. It's amazing how they make the water look so real. Definitely a beautiful game all throughout. It's pretty cool. You can just duel against other people online so you get to compete with other fishermen out in the world. You get to explore the best fishing spots all across the world and having the ability to enjoy unique breathtaking locations right at your home. Use our gift code Nico Brothers for a special reward for new players. So go ahead and check out the link below, download, and play today. With our gift code, you'll get a special new reel and rod that you'll get to use in the game, and a whole bunch of goodies worth $20. Man, so much fun. Ivan's calling me. I gotta go back to work and I'm playing games, but make sure you guys check out the link below and download today. We appreciate all your support. So the front end definitely looks aggressive. They went for that Raptor style bumper, grill, hood scoop and everything. And yeah, it looks mean coming down the road for sure. I mean, that's what I kind of seen in the pictures. I'm like, dang, that looks good already. They put a lot of work into it. So um, yeah, I was honestly kind of curious slash worried because they didn't actually have a picture of the engine itself. So I didn't know what was going on in there, if they did any engine work to it. So yeah, let's pop the hood and see what's going on under there. All right, so you can very right away see that it's got a custom intake, aluminum welded pipe. Um, yeah, it's hard to see being lifted like that. Might need a little step again, but there it is. Pretty cool. Looks pretty stock though. Nice basic 5.0 V8 in it. Yeah, not too much going on, but hey, as long as it's you know there, we're happy about that. But the truck does look what, lifted? For sure, it's definitely lifted. So you can kind of tell like the whole body's lifted or something. Check it out right there, the Oh cab. wow, it's got bushings. Wow. So it's got a body lift and a lift kit. That's pretty cool. So the entire thing is just lifted up like that. Wow. What kind of lift kit does it have? Definitely rough country. I mean, in order to get stuff. Get that washed up, it's gonna look real good. Nice. And it's got some nice wheels on it. Yeah, we've actually seen another rim in the back, so we have all five wheels, rims, and tires. So that's pretty sweet. Just in case something happens, you have a nice spare to match with it. So, you know, put a small spare tire in there, I'm sure you'd be lopsided. So, check out that wheel cap right there. Man, pretty sweet. We've got what, 22s on there and 37 inch tires. Pretty aggressive tire tread on there as well. That's, that's looking pretty good, but fender flares. So, I think the tires are sticking out a little bit, making that mean look, but pretty sweet. Let's see what else they did under here. Aftermarket shocks for sure. Um, it looks like the spindle's been upgraded as well, right? Yeah, so it's probably the spindle. Spindle shock. shock, yep. 
just to get that lift on there. And it doesn't look like it's rubbing either. So no marks right here. And they cut the bumper maybe, so. Nice, because it's so annoying when you turn it and all you hear is rah, that ribbon sound. Everybody's looking at you like, what's wrong? But they did a good job. So we got some rough country steps right here. Still got to lift my leg a little bit, but that's not bad. You know, that's okay. At least we have some kind of steps. What, what is this writing on the, on the door, Michael? SF? I don't know. What does that mean? In the, in the Copart yard where it was located. Oh, okay. Kinda... So this is the row. Yeah. So this is the sales front or whatever. Yeah. SF, SE. That's kind of horrible that they wrote it on the door though. Hopefully it'll come off. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Usually they just go for the glass, but some power pressure wash, the elbow grease, we'll get that off. Let's check out the inside. Yeah, 83,000 miles on it. That's not bad. 2014, could be a lot worse. Oh, look at that interior. Got some custom blue lights. seats. Nice. I like the sunroof on it. I don't know why the seats are always messed up. It's like, is that just the normal thing? People, I don't know, trying to adjust it or something? Or does that happen? Is that a normal wear and tear for F-150s? Seems like my door handle's kind of messed up a little bit too, but. Whatever. Hop in there. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. Not too loud, but yet a little custom exhaust. Cold AC. Nice. Any lights on the dash? Um, my door's open. I need gas. That's two big problems. Yeah, nowadays gas prices, but overall, yeah, it's pretty good. No check engine light, no airbag light. Um, it's looking good, not even an ABS light or anything. That's really good, I'm happy with that. All right guys, so let's talk about the damage, what's going on. I got my handy dandy level here, cause it looks like my bed just ain't straight. Yep, yeah, and that's why we're salvaged. Okay, let's, let's try to make it level, let's see how bad it is. So Need to be somewhere around here. Oh wow, that's like what a foot? Uh, I mean, six, no, seven not, inches? Yeah, that's horrible, horrible. I mean, honestly, you could drive it like this. It's kind of like a style. And we're not squatted, we're. We're bed squatted. Yeah, bed squatted. You know, just in case. I don't know, maybe it'll catch on. Maybe it won't. Well, hopefully, that's like, I mean, that should be a pretty easy fix, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll have to take the bed off. We'll take the bed off to see. You know how bad it is the frame damage and everything like that but it obviously got hit pretty good in the bed in the bumper itself probably and just pushed everything down yeah it looks like you got rerunded and then the hitch maybe he had something maybe he was towing something who knows but uh definitely got rerunded yeah but tailgate took a little bit of hit hope we'll be able to fix that because this is a nice tailgate it's got the step in it and everything it's right. pretty crazy that they had the spare tires a full size too yeah that's awesome. The, the liner inside is pretty cool. I've never seen a white liner like that before. Pretty sweet. Line-X. Cool. Pretty custom. I think it's just work right now. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Rough Crunchy bed liner as well. They put a little cover in there. Nice. All right, guys. So now that we checked out most of the truck, we went from the good to the bad, to the inside to the out and to the rear damage. So the next thing to do is get straight to work and try to get this bed off. And once we take off the bed, we could probably see the frame rails and see how bad they are. Um, I kind of looked underneath, they don't look so bad whatsoever, but we got to show you guys. So let's go ahead and take apart this bed. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty easy because it is on body lifts or body spacers. So that means those bolts were replaced and not, they're not gonna be rusty, which on a lot of these Fords, those bolts actually break. We had to get them from the dealer. But let's go ahead and take off this bed and check out the damages and go from there. So pretty simple. Got my nice shiny bolts right there. Let's go ahead and get those off and the bed should come right off. Got two in the back, I guess two in the front, and one in the back, two, four, six, six bolts. Let's get it off.
Now the tailgate is off. Next, I would work on the gas cap. So that just comes right off. A couple bolts back there. Sorry, a little dark. But yeah, just get those off and get this little plastic thing off, get that disconnected. Ready for the bed? Come right off. Pretty cool, little spacers. All right, so just like that, we got the bed off. It's looking good. Now that we have it off, we can kind of see the frame damage. So you guys can see the frame right here. You know, took a, took a little bend. So it started tearing, you know. But these frames are pretty soft, so we should be able to just pull it back on. Uh, this should be pretty easy. This should come out really nicely, but look at the other side. The other side has a little bit more damage. So on this side, you guys can see the crinkle is a lot, you know, folded, but it's made to do that. So with a frame machine, we should be able to straighten it up and we're gonna see how it turns out. So either we're gonna replace the section or we're gonna pull it out and see how it goes or go from there. So the next thing I wanna do is actually put it on the frame machine and we're gonna block it up and see what happens. It should be nice and easy and easy to go. That was a close fit, but we got it in there. Didn't scratch the roof, so that's good news. Tires are deflated, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and get it on blocks, strapped down, ready for Ivan to pull that frame. So just like that, we got the truck on the frame machine. We got it all chained down, strapped down. So pretty much the frame should not be moving anywhere past this way. So what we got to move is this part section in front. Pretty much how it got hit, it got hit and it bent down. So we're gonna hold the frame right there and we're gonna pull it up by the hitch up and pull it this way. So it should go back to where it was originally. And then we'll see how the metal is afterwards. If it rips, we'll get it fixed. If it doesn't, we're good to go. So let's just get straight to it. Let's, you know, start pumping the frame. All right, so there we have it. It's pulling out pretty good. It's getting a lot straighter. Now we're ready to take off the rear bumper, rear hitch, and go from there. Keep pulling the frame. All 
All right guys, and just like that, framework was done. I mean, it feels like it was just yesterday that this thing was all crooked, which basically it was yesterday, but now we got the frame all straightened out. It's looking great. We can go ahead and take the chains off, put the wheels back on, and get off the frame machine, throw that bed on there, and see what it looks like. Hopefully, it's gonna be good. Yeah, Ivan usually does a pretty good job. It's not his first rodeo, so let's just go ahead and get to work and get this thing off the frame machine. And just like that, we rolled right out of the frame room. It's a lot easier coming out than in. Happy we didn't scratch or anything. It was still pretty close, but luckily, you know, we already got it in there, so we know it's gonna come out pretty good. But we're gonna go ahead and put some air pressure in the tires so that we're not running flat on it. But yeah, out here in the sun, the frame is looking a lot better. I mean, we could throw that level on there, but the real, you know, judge is gonna be once we put the bed on it, but it's looking really nice. I did a great job pulling it out, pulling it up, and getting it all straight and leveled. So yeah, let's get some air, and we'll be ready for that bed. All pumped up, looking good, ready for that bed. But before we put that bed on, we have our spacer blocks that need to go there. So that's gonna be a little tricky to get that lined up without falling off, but we'll probably just hover the bed right over it, get the bolts through, make sure everything's good, drop it back down. All right, sounds like a plan, let's do it. All right, get the dirt off the tires for the most part. Now we can just go ahead and do an alignment on it. Just double check it, make sure my rear axle is good. And looking nice and straight. Man, that's beautiful. This thing is definitely lifted up and looking nice. We'll see it coming down the road for sure. Let's go ahead and put an alignment machine. All right, guys, look at that, looking great. Honestly, not bad at all. We could do a little bit of adjustment with the upper camber, but the caster looks good, and I'm really happy with the rear. Check that out. Total thrust angles in spec, so that's really good, because it was rear end damage. Nice. Our rear differential's good, so let's go ahead and adjust the front a little bit, and we'll be able to send it.
beautiful, just like that. I've been one at it, got it bondoed, dents pulled out, primered, and ready for paint. This tailgate's gonna look real good. Nice, for sure. Getting that prep for paint right now, real clean. Also, we're gonna do the back bumper as well. Um, just the, basically those little pieces that need to be painted. So we'll get those scuffed up and painted, and get it on there. Here we go. Man, the things you could do with camera magic, if only it was this easy in real life. But not bad. Painted, looking good. It's gonna look real fresh on the truck. Rear bumper, rear tailgate. Nice, and go ahead and assemble it. Put it together, the bumper and stuff. And get it on the truck. Cool. Tailgate looks great, bumper color looks good, but man, it looks so bad being so much lower, that gap. I'm gonna go ahead and check out our old bumper and see if we could salvage those spacer plates that lifted the bumper up. And if we could get those bolted on, man, it's gonna look so much better. Cause the entire, you know, bed was lifted up on those spacer blocks, but the bumper wasn't. So we need to figure out the bumper. Let's get it. There they are. These are the brackets that we need to lift up that rear bumper to make it match with our bed. So let's go ahead and get that installed and hopefully it'll we'll solve our gap problem. It's an interesting look right now. Yeah, some like it, some don't. Drop down. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right guys, so it looks like we have to make some custom modifications to that to make it work. So I'm having fun there. And then also for some reason, the truck doesn't want to start anymore. <laughs> Very strange. Let me show you what's going on. Everything was fine. We were driving it no problem, but now it feels like my fuel pump is just cutting off. It'll start and then it just dies. So strange, I already checked all my fuses. I checked the front fuse in the front as well. Um, they're all good. It feels like my fuel pump is working. It is just so strange, guys. I've already put so many hours into it. I don't know what's going on. It feels like it's starting, so the fuel pump is working, but then it just shuts it off, so it cuts off the fuel, because I give it gas, it shuts off as well. There might be like a anti-theft thing going on or something else aftermarket. It's gonna be fun, but leave some comments below what you think it is. We still have this dent to work on and the tail light to replace, modifying our back bumper, but Overall, it's getting there. That was fun. Sorry guys, got a little frustrated, truck dying all the time, so I played a little fishing clash. You know, it just feels good catching epic fish. <sighs> all right, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. Leave some comments below why you think the truck's not working, what's going on, how you like the build so far. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video, and we'll catch you next time.